All right, let's get started with our warm up. So um, I'm seated. You guys can stay seated if that's where you are to start out. Okay, so I'm just going to be sitting here. We're going to reach up nice and tall with our arms clasped. Your hands come a little bit out of the low back. And then back down, the arms nice and wide. We're going to go into a 90-90 stretch, bringing the leg behind us right out, 90 degree angle in the back leg and in the front leg. Sit up tall for a second here. And then as you lean forward, we're going to shift the stretch into our front glute here. So you want to lean just until you feel that stretch of the glute. You'll feel in your hip and then just come up. We're just holding that for a few seconds. And then let's do it again, back down. Nice, back up, we'll do a third time. All right, back up, let's switch. Bring the leg around. And you might even feel a bit of a stretch when you are coming into this um, uh, top position of the 90-90. Sometimes it's like uncomfortable for that leg right here to be rotated like that, but that's completely normal. Just depends on um, your flexibility and how your hips are. Just leaning forward for a few seconds. Back up nice and tall, last one. And up. All right, you guys can bring the leg back in front while we bring the arms wide. And we're just gonna rotate our hands, so thumbs all the way down and then thumbs um, back as far as you can go. You wanna keep the arms staying out nice and wide, not drooping, and you'll feel the rotation coming from the shoulders here. Even though you see it more in my hands, it's really happening in the shoulders. Last one. All right, now press the arms wide as far as you can back a few times and then rotate the thumbs down again, and then press back that way. All right, let's go to an all fours position. Right here, my knees right under my hips. We're gonna do some cat cows. Breathe in, arch the spine, pull the shoulder blades up, and then tuck the hips as you breathe out, rounding the spine, making space in between the shoulder blades. Let's go through that again arching, really squeezing back, and then rounding, making all that space in between your vertebrae. One more. And press it out. All right, down to a neutral spine. And then we're gonna do some hip circles. So staying here, bring one knee out, then up, and then down. So we're moving the hip in a circle really opening it up, keeping that leg bent at 90 degrees. All right, now we're gonna reverse the direction. So now we go up first, then out to the side, and then down. And you guys can move through that a few more times on this leg. And one more. All right, go ahead and switch legs. We're gonna do the same thing, starting with out to the side first then up, then down. One more in this direction. And then let's reverse, let's go back first, then out to the side, back down. Trying to make big circles with our hip. And one more. All right, now bring the knees back to a plank position or you can press them up. We got scapula push-ups. So for this one, remember we squeeze the shoulder blades back and then we spread them at the top here. So the arms stay straight. This is all in the shoulder blades. Just pinch them together like you're doing a row and then spread them apart wide. All in the shoulder and the back. And one more. All right, now you can drop your knees if you'd like, if you haven't, and bring one leg up right outside the hands here. And we're just gonna sink down as low as we can. So if 
you come down and you bring your, all your elbows on the ground, that's good. If not, we can just stay here and you'll feel that in your hip of your back leg, bringing the knee right over the ankle. All right, now come on up, keep that leg um, in front of you on the ground and we're just gonna shift right into a hip flexor stretch. So now when we come up, you should feel this more in the back hip. If you don't, make sure you're squaring your hips and your shoulders and then standing upright and pushing that hip out a little bit. Let's hold it a few more seconds here. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. Hands back down, step back to plank, other leg comes out and we're gonna sink into that stretch on the other side. So just really coming down, maybe stay on your hands, maybe come all the way down to your elbows. It's just about feeling your hips open up a little bit here. If you need to drop the knee, do that. All right, now press up, hip flexor stretch on this side. So we slowly press up, pushing the hip out until we feel it shift into our um, front of our hip, the top of our thigh right here in the back. Opening up. All right. That was our warm up. So now you guys can stretch whatever you need while I um, demo the first move. So we're gonna do a full body circuit to start out. We're gonna do one minute of each exercise and there's only three. We're gonna do one that's more leg based, one that's more upper body based, and then a core one. So for the legs, what we're gonna do is some squat walks. We sink low into our squat right here and then we just walk, shifting one leg forward, staying low. When we do five steps, we tap the ground to make sure we're low and then walk back for five steps. Five, tap, and that's it again. Then second move for the upper body. What we are gonna do is it's a bit of a combo. We have two push-ups right here, however you wanna do them, you can do them on your knees. Then we come down to the ground for two supermans squeezing the back and the legs up. And then we have two boat taps. Knees come up, tap the heels. And then we'll go back through the two push-ups of each. Just follow along with me if you forgot that. And then last move is gonna be for the abs. We're down low and then, wait, I'm sorry, that's not the move we're doing. We're doing bent knee right here, knees elevated, tapping the opposite shoulder, lifting the opposite foot. It's gonna be for the core. All right, those are all three moves. We're starting with the squat walk. So stay nice and low and remember one minute. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna start with that. So go ahead and get into your squat position, chest stays up, send the hips back and down and let's get ready to go. Three, two, and one, go. Just little baby walks. Three, four, five steps. We tap the ground, then we come back. Two, three, four, five. Tap and back up. Trying to keep that butt down low. Weight shifts back. You don't want to be leaning too far forward. So try and get that chest up as much as you can. And feel the weight shift into each leg as you make those baby walks. Little taps down. And your tap will make you realize how much you're coming up as you're walking. You wanna try and minimize that. Whew, feeling a burn here, only 15 seconds. Then we're gonna come down for our push-up combo. It starts with two push-ups, just remember that. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, down to the ground right in. We got two push-ups right here, one and two. And then we come down two supermans, one, two. Now let's take our time here, tap the heels, one, long, and two. Back in. You guys can go at your own pace here if you need to. Keep that chin tucked on the Supermans.
That's it, 20 more seconds. Squeezing the glutes here as well. In 10 seconds, we're gonna be on all fours, like we're doing cat cows, but a neutral spine. And three, two, one. Press on up, bend the knees. Remember, elevate them just an inch. Add that shoulder tap. And if you want more of a challenge, raise the back leg at the same time. Use that core. That's the stability. Keep going here. Gonna let one more person in. All right, keep going. We've got 30 more seconds. Alternating foot, back, um, alternating right foot, left hand, left foot, right hand. That was a mouthful, okay. We get to rest after this minute. Really control this movement, take your time. There's no rush. Moving slow, core is braced for the last five seconds. And three, two, one, come on down. One minute off. Shake it out, do what you need to do, grab some water. We got one minute, then we're gonna do all three of those moves over. All right, good work with that, guys. So we're hitting the full body with that. So we're feeling it in lots of different places. And while our upper body rests, our lower body works and all that good stuff. We got 30 more seconds of rest. So take your time, bring your heart rate back down. When we go back in, squat walks. Remember five forward, five back, and a little tap. We've got 15 more seconds. All right, we got five seconds. Let's get ready. And three, two, one. Remember hips back, then down. Now let's walk. One, two, three, four, five. Tap. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Nice and strong, good squat form. Lots of time under tension here. Halfway through that minute, stay strong. Good, only 20 more seconds, then we'll work the upper body. That burn in your legs is not gonna last, don't worry. Nice, try and stay back in your heels to shift that weight into your glutes, squeeze them tight. And five, four, three, two, one. Two push-ups first. Two Supermans, use that back. Now let's take our time on this one. Remember, little taps to the heel. You'll feel that one right back here a little more too. And back in. Your own pace here is fine. Getting a little comfortable with the moves now. So now you can start to push it a little more. See if you can get those knees up a little bit on those taps. And three, two, one, press up, come to all fours. Hover the knees just an inch. Then we add that tap. Opposite hands, opposite foot. And try not to shift your weight too much, guys. That's where the core work comes in. Stability. If it's too much, to do both the hand and foot, just pick one. Just try just the hands or even just the feet. Just a little hover of that foot. Now 
moving slowly. There's no rush. Just keep it up for this last 15 seconds. If you need to drop the knees, that's fine. One minute rest coming up. And three, two, one. Come on down. Oh, good work, guys. Two rounds done. Take your rest time. Relax. Good work there. Yeah, we're hitting really every muscle. We got the back, we got the shoulders, core bracing through all of it. And that last move is gonna really fire up your core to finish it out. Lots of time under tension, three minutes straight of work. We've just got one more round through of this circuit, then we're gonna switch it up for the next thing. Let's go ahead and get ready. <laughs> We've got eight seconds, then we're in. So remember, feet shoulder width apart to start. Core brace, chest high. Let's sink it back down. Three, two, one, and we are in. I'm keeping my weight in my heels as best as I can as I shuffle. I like to try and keep my gaze not on the floor, maybe a little bit high, so that I can remember to keep my chest up as well. Good work. Now, if the burn gets too much and you absolutely have to come up for a second, that's always there. Feel free to do that as you need it. But we only have 12 more seconds, so if you, you can, try and hold it out. Push-up combo coming up next. And three, two, one. Let's go right down into it. Two push-ups, two supermans, two boat taps. Trying to see if you can reach those feet. Good. Nice. It's all about the control, guys. Remember, there's no need to rush a move. Um, if you can slow it down and if that helps you use more of the muscle you're supposed to be using, that's great. 10 more seconds. Come on, let's get one more round in. Three, two, one, onto the knees. They elevate. And we got 60 seconds more of work before we can rest. Nice, so here, we're really trying to resist the movement in our core. Our muscles not only create movement, but resist it. So that's the goal right here, is not to shift. Brace that core nice and tight, belly button to spine. Shoulders right over the wrist, guys. 90 degrees in the knees and hips. Neutral spine and brace. Only 10 more seconds. Real tight bracing of the abs. Three, two, one. Come on down, release. Good work, first circuit, done. Let's go into the next one. All right, first move is gonna be a glute bridge. But we are on our calves. So see how my heels are elevated and I'm pressing up through the toes. That's gonna work a little bit more of our calves in this one, because we're gonna be squeezing them tight. Second move for the upper body um, is gonna be one commando push-up. So that's like an up-down. We go down to one elbow, down to one elbow, up, up. That's the first part. 
and then we hinge back and then hinge again a little further and come up. And if you need to go one elbow at a time, that's fine. So like this. Like that. Modify by going on your knees, whatever you need to do. And then last move on our spine, um, alternating leg and arm raises. So down, up, just like that. Yeah, and that's it, that's our ab move. Um, you can modify that one as well by bending your knees, uh, opposite hand, opposite arm, like that. Okay, so here, sorry, all right. Um, here what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually take out that minute of rest. I know no rest we're just gonna move right through but the thing is that we're resting a lot of these moves while we're doing the other moves since we've got long intervals and um these are a, li a little bit uh less taxing so we don't have those like squats that really get our heart rate up so i think we'll do okay here so we're just gonna move right through no rest until we're done the circuit so let's get ready for that glute bridge first 10 seconds so come down to your back bring the heels all the way in point the toes and we're gonna tuck our tailbone and three, two, one, up. Full extension of the hips towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes, pushing through our toes this time, squeezing the calves, pulling the shoulders back. That's it. Just like that for 40 more seconds. Trying to see if we can stay up on those toes the entire time. Good, try and stay up on those toes as best as you can. And think about tucking that tailbone so it's the first thing to rise and the last thing to come down. My feet are slipping. And plank position in three, two, one. Right up here, knees or toes, whichever, down on one elbow down on the other, up, up, then let's add that skull crusher, hinging at the elbows, sliding back all the way down, nose to floor, and back up. That's it. And then you want to come back to so your shoulders over the rest at the start of it. So we want to make sure our elbows pointed back at the wall behind us, parallel lines with the arms, so we can really use the triceps for these variations. That's the back of our arm right here. That's what we're using. And if you need to drop to the knees to come up, that's good. We have 10 more seconds, then we're on our backs. And three, two, one, roll over, hands and arms up, flat back. Let's do opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, brace that core nice and tight. No space here, really braced. A modification, like I said, bent knee. Your head can rest on the floor if your neck is getting tired or you can keep it a little elevated, it's up to you. So remember, we actually don't get to rest after this. So we're just gonna go right into our glute bridge. We're in the perfect position. So when I count you down, just bring those uh, feet in and we're gonna press up on the toes. Keep it up, five more seconds. And glute bridge is in three, two, one. Bring those toes all the way in as far as you can. Press it right up. Just like that for the next 60 seconds. Good, keep going here guys. With those glute bridges, squeezing the calves. Good, keep going.
nice squeezing the glutes this time we're working before we worked a little more the front of the legs so we're trying to hit the back part of our legs now nice really tilting that pelvis up all right we got that push-ups in five seconds that special variation three two one let's roll over right into it down on one elbow down on the other and then hinging at the elbows down nose to the floor and then shifting forward again so you might have to shift your weight back and forward as you do it that's fine halfway there Nice, you should feel the burn in your triceps, maybe even your core here. All right, onto the back in three, two, one, roll over, legs up, core brace. Let's go with these leg raises. Nice, keeping it straight, moving together. All right, halfway there, let's keep it up. Don't stop now, you know which one's coming next. And um, the glute bridge with the calf raise. Ten more seconds, belly button to sign, nice and tight, really flex. Three, two, legs down, one, and up into glute bridge. Thirty more seconds, halfway there. Remember, don't rush it at the top. Really hold that um, squeeze at the top. If you start to have your feet slip away, just pull them back in part way through. All right, turning over onto plank position in five seconds. Three, two, one. Right on over, and let's go in. Nice, really pressing up with those triceps here. Keeping those arms parallel to each other at all times, looking like an equal sign. Twenty seconds, then we're doing abs. And three, two, one, onto the back. So this is our third round through. What we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna do four rounds. Since we took out the rest, we're just gonna use that time to do another round. Now, if at any point, guys, you need to stop and catch your breath or whatever, of course, go ahead and do that. Just a little disclaimer. It is your workout. <laughs> All 
Nice. Again, we don't have to rest this one. Try it one where you slow it down and feel the difference, if there is any. It'll get especially hard at the bottom. So if you slow down that part, it gets harder. And three, two feet in, one glute bridge. Press it up, one more round to go. Nice, thinking about coming up one vertebrae at a time and back down the exact opposite way. One vertebrae from the top of the spine. Keep going 30 more seconds. Keep squeezing those calves as well. Five seconds, three, two, one. Push up variation, let's go. One commando and then one skull crusher push up. Good, remember in that skull crusher, all the bend is coming from the elbows. Now, one option for you is to do the commando on your toes. And then if it gets hard during this part, when you come all the way down to come back up, you can always just use your knees to help you a little bit there. Or just stand your knees the whole time, of course. Three, two, one. All right, last one, last minute here. It's all about the control. Remember, we don't want a big gap here. We want to press our back nice and strong into the ground. That'll help you engage more of your abs. See if you can just keep that foot and arm just hovering. Twenty more seconds. Five more seconds, stay strong, and three, two, one. Hug the knees in, release. Good job, guys. All right, I'm gonna get some water here, grab some. Okay, that was a long side of work with no break. That was 12 minutes, so good job, guys. Um, coming up next, what we're gonna do for this last little bit, we don't have too much time, but we're gonna do some moves deliberately moving as slow as possible. So I always say you don't have to rush the movement, but now not only are we gonna not rush, we're gonna purposefully move extra slow and get more time under tension um, in doing so. So move number one is just gonna be a single leg squat. So coming down onto one leg, we're just gonna hover that back leg and this time we're gonna do it where we just touch the ground and try not to let the back leg come up at all. And you guys can see I'm moving in slow motion. If you need, stand near a wall or a, a table or something that you can um, hold to help you if you need some support for the balance. 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds the other leg, then 30 seconds of super slow push-ups. That's what we're doing. All right, let's get started. 10 seconds. Um, I'm gonna start with my left leg. Pick your leg. And three, two, and one. 
coming down. Keep that back leg elevated. Go super slow here. Touch the ground. Come on up. There we go. Moving in slow motion. Using that glute, squeeze it, dig your heel in to help you rise. All right, when I count you down, we're just gonna switch legs. Get ready, three, two, one. Right foot comes down, right in. Hovering that back knee and foot, don't let it touch. Moving slow, trying to let, not let that knee track over the toe. We want our heel touching the ground at all times. If that means you don't touch to get all the way to the ground with your hand, that's fine. I'd rather have you making contact with that back heel. Three seconds, then we're going to push-ups. Three, two, one. Come down, super slow push-ups. At the bottom, now press up just the slow. Nice. Think about screwing the hands into the ground. Let's go again. Nice, 10 more seconds, then we're back in with the single leg squat. And three, two, one, come on up nice and quick. Let's go down slow. That's it. When you go slow, you can really think about the muscle you're supposed to be using. Visualize it contracting, really use it. And you can use your balance a little more, moving slow. Three, two, one, right leg. Nice, remember guys, try and get the hinge to come more from the leg. So not just bending down to touch the ground, but really getting those hips down. So if you need something for balance in order to do so, in order to be using more of your legs, that's fine. Push-ups in three, two, one, down to the ground. And move nice and slow. I know at the bottom it gets super hard, just do your best. Reinforcing that quality form, pressing the ground away with your chest, core brace. One more rep. Then one more round through. Three, two, one, left leg, get it up, let's go. This is our last time through. Nice, it's crazy how high our heart rate can get just from moving super slow, just because we're using our muscles so much. Using those stabilizers. Three, two, one, right leg. That's it, push it out. In 10 seconds, we just got 30 seconds of push ups, and that is it. Three, two, one, push-ups, let's finish out, 30 seconds. We got this. Ten more seconds. Let's make this super slow. See if you can make this rep, take the whole rest of the time. Three, two, one, release. Good work, guys. On that, let's start our cool down. So, all right, to start, let's bring one leg long and then one leg hug it across. A little twist, you should feel it releasing your glute. You guys can hold that. Let me put down um, the cool down music. Good, releasing that one glute.
You can switch legs. Other leg hugs in, bring the arm across, twisting across the body and bringing the knee closer. All right, while we're seated, you can bring your arms all the way around, clasp them in the back and really lift them up off your um, spine a little bit and you can feel that all in your chest. All right, now bring them to the front. You're gonna clasp your hands and this time around your spine, like we're doing those scapula push-ups. You just wanna press the arms away, tuck the chin. Now come on up with the arms and then one arm comes back. You're just gonna gently press that elbow back, reaching farther down your back to stretch the tricep. All right, go ahead and switch arms. Bring that tricep, just gently press it back and think about walking the fingers farther down your spine. All right, now we're gonna stretch the back of the shoulders, arm comes across, and then the other arm hugs it in. You wanna keep your arm from drooping down. You'll feel it more, I think, if you lift the arm a little bit, that helps me a lot. All right, come across, and then other arm shoulder stretch. So you should feel it like right here. All right, now let's go back to the legs a little bit. So we are gonna do a butterfly stretch for those hips, feet together, come as close as to the feet as you can, and then slowly lean forward, trying to press those knees down. All right, now keep one leg where it is. One leg comes long and let's stretch that hamstring. So make sure you're not going to the center. You wanna really square your shoulders over that leg. And then just slowly walk them down your um, leg closer towards your heel. Trying to bring that chest a little bit closer if you can. Bending in half and keep breathing. All right, go ahead and switch legs. Let's release the other hamstring. So we did some new moves today. I know sometimes we do some um, not weird, creative stuff in here, but um, there's a lot of things you can do to train your um, muscles with body weight. So I hope you guys learn some new things and maybe feel stuff in muscles you haven't used in a while. Good, hold that for a few more beats. All right, now we're just gonna finish up with a hip flexor stretch. Coming down, one leg comes in and back. You can grab that back leg if it feels good. All out through here. All right, go ahead and stretch the other leg coming back. Nice, and release. As always, if you guys have any feedback for these classes, something you want me to incorporate or what you like, don't like, stick around, send me a message here. If you think of something later, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. And yeah, thank you guys for coming. Have a great day. Oh, one more announcement, sorry. Uh, next week, I'm also doing a uh, trainer talk on Tuesday about 
mobility. So how to like warm up for workouts and just mobility in general. So if you're interested in that, uh, log in with this link at Tuesday at 530. You're welcome. Thanks for coming.